Esse é um trabalho do Capoeira Angola de São Bento Grande, estilo em Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. <risos> Hello, this is Professor Jason of Os Malandros de Mestre Toro. And this is our lesson number four. Lesson number four is going to be discussing, putting it all together, and sequences. Sequences. The, in, in Capoeira, we don't have what um, many people would say, like in other styles of martial arts, like a form, but we have what is called sequencias, and these sequencias are basically sequences of movements that will then become a basis for you to improvise upon. Capoeira is not about um, what I would say everyone looking cookie cutter the same in their movements or in what they do. Everyone is encouraged to have their own mindset, their own individual flavor and flair for what they do. Because in essence, in this style, it's almost like their styles within the style. So this is going to be just a basis, an exercise for you to improvise upon, for you to build movements together and see the connections. So the sequences that we'll focus on today will be Queda de Quarto, Martelo, Chapa. Remember we did Queda de Quarto in our Esquive class. So what you'll be doing, the whole idea of this is you're escaping a movement that's coming straight at you. Esquive with Queda de Quarto. And then you give back with Martelo e Chapa. And these movements are geared for you to Improvise upon them. You can see what else you can add to that later or what else you can do uh, as you um, escape with Keda de Quato. What else can you do there? Think about those things. These are the things I want you to think about as you master the movements. So you Keda de Quato, Martelo Shop to give back. And try to breathe through the movement. What I mean by breathing through is do it continuously and make it slow. Because, you know, later we can talk about fast movements and all of these things, but when you go slow, you can also go fast. He who moves slow can move fast. He who moves, he who kicks high can kick low. So the next is um, Cocorinha. Ow. So we showed Cocorinha in our Esquive class. So. Cocorinha, you're getting away from a movement which is perhaps aimed at your head, a swinging movement, and you duck down. Cocorinha. And then you give back with Aul. You spring out of that Cocorinha and Aul back at the person. Okay? The next one will be Resistencia. And then you go from Resistencia into Bensan. Resistencia to escape and Bensang to give back. So, as we said, uh, philosophically, with all of these things, you can see that in each of these movie, in each of these sequences that I've given you, it includes some sort of escape and then some sort of offensive move to. Uh, counter or a counter attack. So as you think of this, what I want you to imagine is what are you getting out of the way of? When the Kerege Quato, when you give the Kerege Quato, a Kerege Quato helps you to get out of the way of movements that are coming straight at you in a straight line. So Kerege Quato back, then give back to them Marcello Shop. Um, Cocorinha, helps you to get away from movements that are swinging at your head. So that can be a, um, a Martello and Pei or a roundhouse kick. It could be someone swinging a stick. It could be 
a hook aimed at your head and you cocorinha and get back with owl, okay? Think about what you're escaping. What are you getting out of the way of? And then last, resistencia. Same thing, resistencia works very well with the movement coming here, but uh, a swinging movement. But also, resistencia also helps you to co be compact and conserve space. So you crunch down into resistencia and you explode with Bensan. You explode back. The same idea, so what I want you to think about with each of these movements is how do you contract? and then how do you expand? It, contraction and expansion with each of these, these movements. And this is how the capoeira game is governed, particularly Salbento Granji. This is how it's governed. It's not governed by um, assisting the other person by saying, oh, I, I'm going to kick and this make this kick over your head. No, you kick them, and they know the esquive, so they get out of the way, then they give back, you know the esquive, and we keep doing that until somebody either forgets, gets tired, or they don't know how to escape. And the flow of the jogu is governed by knowing how to get out of the way. And that is how the dance of particularly uh, Capoeira Angola, Sabento Granji, that is how that game is governed by knowing how to escape and give back so as i said before i want you to think about what you're escaping how do you contract how do you expand all of these things are so very important because they are metaphors for life how how do you know what time to speak up. How do you know when to keep your mouth shut? There are so many times. Sometimes in a really hostile situation, you might wanna keep your mouth shut, walk away. Sometimes if it's a tough situation, you might wanna speak up based upon the circumstances. Life or death, you're cornered. You have to speak up. You have to do something. But if you can walk away, if you can avoid it, avoid it. That's Capoeira. All right, so we'll see you next time. And good luck. Okay. This first movement is Kerejiquato Martelo Chapa. We learned Kerejiquato during our Esquive class. So as you can see, I fall on all fours, give the Martelo and the Chapa. The same way we bring the Martello and Chapa from the striking class, bring it all together. So you get out of the way of a movement, Kerejiquato, and you give back, Martello y Chapa. They attack you, Kerejiquato, Martello, Chapa is the response. Kerejiquato, Martello, Chapa. Kerejiquato, Martello, so in this, you are escaping and now you are attacking, counterattack with the Martello Chapa. Now, this next movement, Cocorinha into Aú. Cocorinha, Aú, Jinga back so that you have enough space. Their movement is coming, Cocorinha, Aú, to get back. They attack you, Cocorinha, Aú, to get back. They attack, you cocorinha, get back with the owl. 
So try it very slowly. We'll work on how these cocorinha, this quercicuato, it works later. But I want you to see how you can utilize this movement to escape anything being swung at your head. And then you have a response, which will be your awu. Now from the side. Now from the back. Kokorin. Enter awu. Kokorin. Awu. Now. This last movement is Hesistencia. We learned Hesistencia in our Esquive class as well. And Benson, we learned in our striking class. So you escape with the Hesistencia, step forward, give the Benson. This is particularly useful if you have very little space. You just drop Hesistence and enter, give the Benson. Hesistencia, then sound. And notice I'm kicking with my heel. And then sound. Hesistence, then sound. Hesistencia, into the then sound. Now do your best to try these movements very slowly 